we started this quest by driving to TJ Maxx. I've been on a spiritual journey for the last few years, so now whenever I drive, I listen to affirmations. Oh my gosh, you are one of the hottest people in the world. You are so rich. Oh my gosh, your feet are very cute. Yeah, the affirmations are great. They really get me pumped up and ready, especially when I'm about to go to TJ Maxx. Well, um, at the gas station because my vehicle needs gas. I don't know how to use this. What? I don't know how to use it. Are you gonna just insert your card? Oh, it turns out it's pretty easy. Lucas had to show me though. Are you covering the camera? Oh crap, I actually am. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Jacob has arrived to TJ Maxx. Lucas is also at TJ Maxx. Right away when we got into TJ Maxx, I really had to go potty bad. So I hit the restrooms. So a little TJ Maxx restroom review for you guys. Basically, if you're a male, if you identify as a man, you can't shit because the stall was locked up. All we can do is stand and piss. So all I'm saying is what if a guy has to shat? What are they supposed to do? Also, every single public urinal you go to has a piece of gum in it. And I just want to know what bitches out there are throwing their gum in the urinal. Urinals are always right next to a trash can. Just throw it in the trash can. You don't have to throw it in the urinal. Do you get satisfaction from people pissing on your piece of gum or what? But yeah. Wait, so is that why you were always touching your ass inside of TJ Maxx? Because you couldn't shit? Because you kept putting your fingers and hand around your ass, but is it because you couldn't shit? I shat in the urinal. Right when we walked into TJ Maxx, I noticed that they have this security camera that says something like filming is in the process. And you know, I'm out for theft control. I don't know if that's like a saying, theft control. I just mean like controlling theft. But I do have to say, none of us signed like permission to film slips. I would agree with you, but you are filming people in TJ Maxx too. Like you filmed multiple other people. Have you guys ever heard the Nicki Minaj song? Um, oh wait, it's not Nicki Minaj song, but it's a Big Sean, Big, Big Sean song featuring Nicki Minaj, and it's called Ass. And Nicki Minaj says, which I love this line, by the way, you couldn't get Michael Kors if he were fucking Michael Kors. But, um, I have a newsflash for Nicki Minaj if she's watching. I have never had sex with Michael Kors. Is he still alive? I don't know. He's alive. He is? He has an Ar Architectural Digest video of his New York City penthouse. What I'm trying to say is that I have never fucked Michael Kors and I am able to buy this $44 pair of Michael Kors shoes. Like that line doesn't have a lot of truth to it. And I am one to honor truth. You wanna say anything? No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> the shoe section of TJ Maxx was lit, honey. They had Calvin Klein, Balenciaga ripoffs, Yeezy type things. Like everything was there. And instead of enjoying it, we couldn't because somebody's child was crying. <laughs> oh and it's like, tell them to shut the fuck up. Just kidding. They can't control it. You guys know those videos where, like, these beauty gurus, like, throw shade at all these brands for pe being in TJ Maxx and stuff? If you didn't know, that's a thing, because it's like, I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx is one of those stores where, like, they get, um, all these brands that have outselling wealth, so then TJ Maxx sells them on a cheaper price. Can you approve that, just so if two people yeah. think that? Yeah, it's usually like, oh, it didn't sell, so TJ Maxx bought it up. But yeah, so we're gonna join that hate train. Coca-Cola was in TJ Maxx. Boo, you flopping. You try to claim you're the biggest company in America. Oh my God, Coca-Cola. Bitch, you're in TJ Maxx. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> I don't want to add to that hate because if my products were in TJ Maxx, I am not joking. I wouldn't be that embarrassed because it's like, I'm still making money. It's not like I'm losing yeah. money. There's nothing to be embarrassed about being a brand in TJ Maxx because that means that you were, you're so successful that they bought so many units of your product because like it was popping so hardcore, but like we just bought too many, you know? That's a good sign if anything, right? I do have to say TJ Maxx reminds me that 
<laughs> we live in a consumer society. Like, if you go to Walmart, yes, there's a bunch of products. But, or Target, there's a bunch of products. Oh my gosh. But TJ Maxx is another level of just random products that no one needs, but they're being sold for cheap prices. And it's like, damn, we really do live in a consumer society. And I know this sounds like something from I'm 14 and deep, but like, it's just crazy to me that we, we consume shit like every day. Like consume, cons consume, consume. Lucas is throwing shade at this hat because there's so much fucking full on it. It's like, can you at least clean it before you try selling this shit? Yeah, I don't know if someone literally brought a cat in there. A stray cat was roaming around rubbing its body all over everything. But what the hell? Why is it so covered in hair, sis? I was actually happy because can we normalize uh having a bunch of hair on you because i always think oh my gosh i have to use one of those lint rollers whatever you call them like hair rollers i want to normalize having so much fucking fall on you Bitch, I have never looked at the bag collection at TJ Maxx, but they had a skinned alligator bag, and I'm so excited that they had a skinned alligator bag. Like, you guys get that was a joke, right? 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 <laughs> So a typical Hermes Kelly bag, which is the bag underneath the Birkin, is around like $10k. Don't save your money anymore because TJ Maxx has the exact same thing for like $10 only. People always say Hermes items are an investment. They go up in value. Who knows? No one's tried it. Maybe these TJ Maxx Hermes knockoffs also go up in value. Buy a bunch and invest in them. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Some of them just is showing their ass bunt over inside of TJ Maxx. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know some, some of you guys believed it. Probably everyone actually believed it, but that was just my hand. No one was spotting their butt cheeks in the middle of TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah, you know there's somebody out there who is so embarrassed because in the three seconds you showed it, their pants were off, jacking off, and then they realized it wasn't actually a butt, you know? <laughs> Got ya! Got ya! We're inside of TJ Maxx. We've been in here for about 10 minutes. We're having so much fun. Um, it's been great. I love it here. TJ Maxx. <laughs> oh, just fun here. TJ Maxx has everything. We were going through the shoe section, the beauty product section. They have like a bunch of kitchen shit, you know, like taco holders. Who the F needs that? But they have it. They have a bunch of food. Story time. Like five years ago, I got caviar. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got caviar from TJ Maxx. It was like five dollars. I just wanted to try that shit. Um, I forgot what it tasted like. But yeah, they just have everything at TJ Maxx. It's honestly mind-boggling. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I'm inspired. We can help the world if we love one another. Help one another. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. Help one another. D -d 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 that's tight. Help one another in your neighborhood. Spend, spend all your monies on others and help them. Drop your ass to the floor. Drop your ass to the floor. Hey, hey! Drop your ass to the floor. Drop your ass to the floor. Hey, hey! Wow, I, I hope that inspired you guys. Jacob hasn't talked about this channel because I didn't want anyone to treat him differently, but he does suffer from a broken leg and I caught it on camera secretly. Yes, he has a broken leg, but I saw a candle that changes your chakras through spirituality and apparently it cures everything. So I thought, let's try this. Jacob smelled it and... <laughs> my body somehow is rejuvenated i'm grateful for the chakra candle i didn't buy it though but i'm grateful that it was at the tj maxx i am done with these creepy ass dolls like it just gets creepy like cancel this shit i think it's the eyes that creep me out i just know bitches are dying and going into these dolls souls like i just know it and that's a, that, that, that's a fact um, clothes. In case you were wondering, I, um, do shop at TJ Maxx sometimes. I was looking at their clothes. Maybe I'd find something that I'd want to wear in real life. But I didn't find anything. But just a little quote. Not a quote, but just a little tidbit. If you do buy stuff from TJ Maxx, make sure it's, like, made out of, like, 
like polyester or some shit because I've gotten clothes from TJ Maxx before and they shrink like 50% in the wash. Yeah, I've gotten shirts from TJ Maxx and I was like, oh my God, these are each $8. This is such a deal. But yeah, after one time in the wash, they feel like cardboard. Seven. Yeah, like what happened to the Then that means no one in that Oh, there's a McDonald's. So obviously we're gonna stop and get Oreo McFlurries on the way home, right? No, because it's on the other side of the road and we're gonna pass it anyway. Oh, right, we're gonna pass it so we can just pull in. <laughs> no, I mean, we already did pass it so we can't even get Oreo McFlurries. Oh, but you still could turn. Oh, turn. Wait, yeah. what? We're just gonna keep going straight. Wait, okay, I'm getting out. Wait, why do you need an Oreo McFlurry that bad? I'm just hot, okay, I'm getting out. I'm walking home. Bitch, Let me get, out. get the fuck out then. No, if you're gonna be a home. dick about it, then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my fucking life, bitch. <sighs> so fucking annoying sometimes. Okay, I'm picking Lucas back up because I knew he wasn't gonna order an Uber or something. Why the hell did you drive away? Uh, because you were being a dick and I'm not gonna get you McDonald's. I'm not gonna like stop at McDonald's. I'm like, why'd you t make me get out of the car? It's so You're the one that got out on your own will. Well, yeah, I'm done. We are back from TJ Maxx. Obviously, actually, if we weren't back from TJ Maxx, we'd be missing. So we wouldn't even be here talking. I spent $44 at TJ Maxx and I would say I got everything for a good deal. First of all, Lucas actually recommended I get this. Um, it's a prime press pastoral upper back support. Um, it's this thing that you wear and it's supposed to help your pastoral. I'm always doing this to like make sure I'm standing up straight. So it'd be nice to have something that just like pushes me up straight all the time. I feel like I have moderate, average posture, but I feel like I could do better. Yeah, cause you slowly sit like this and then like 10 years later, you're a hunchback person. All the hunchbacks watching, like we love you, but like. Cause I feel like it's so easy to have bad posture because we're always on our phones and computers and shit and we're always just looking down. Yeah, they had to say it's unisex. I mean it. Like, how would this not be this? But you know some guys are like, What is that girl thing? <laughs> what do you even fucking say? Wait, is that a girl thing? <laughs> I'm not putting on an act right now. This is just how, how I would stand any other day. Like, what does it look like? Um, I think that's average. I mean, there is a slight hunch forming, but like, maybe that's normal. It just gross because I know they're marketing it, marketing it, marketing as a pastoral product, but I know it's like actually a sex swing. You might have to help me. And then these go underneath your arms, right? Yeah, you put it on there and then just tighten it. Let me if I can go. Wait. I think you should go way tighter. Do you notice a difference? Wait, I think, actually I don't know. If it is, it's so minor. planning on wearing it like all the effing time, um, it would force you to stand straight. I, I'm not, obviously not a doctor, but like I get it. Just try walking. Wait, I have a good test. What? When you do push-ups and planks, people always say that you have a weird thing going on. Let's see if it fixes it. Wow. You're just a hater. I'm just saying like, our, we are our um, brother-in-law is a personal trainer and he told you like, Oh yeah, that's bad. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I think I actually did fix it. Wait, try to do a plank now. Wait! I think it did it. Now should I take it off? Yeah, take it off and let's see. Did you feel trapped in it for a second? <laughs> I know, I actually thought I was gonna die in there. Oh, it actually looks exactly the same. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Now it's your time to get strapped up. <laughs> I am known for having good posture, so I'm sure this won't do anything for me. This is me normally. You're lying, yeah, this is me bitch. Normally. Like, what do you think? I mean, is, honestly, is there a little bit of a hunch? Just be honest. I legit think that's like, if you went to a posture doctor or spinal doctor, whatever the F, like they would say, oh, you're excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna do mine like extra tight. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Ew. Wait, I think you were doing it wrong, Jacob Loki. Oh yeah, because having it this tight, I feel like it's not supposed to be. Do I actually look different though? 
Yeah, you um do look like you're standing way this, more straight. Yeah, you're supposed to tighten it. You're supposed to tighten it hardcore because the whole thing is to have your shoulders behind your chest. Isn't that what people always say? I don't know okay. why, but it looks so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so good actually walking like this. Like I just feel like, yeah, that's how I'm meant to walk. I'm not even kidding. Like, I feel so good. I love it. I don't know still if you're supposed to be wearing it like long term or type of thing like you wear it for like a day. One of the biggest reasons I I care about posture is literally just because um confidence. I remember I read an entire book where this person actually did studies where posture can make you confident. Because have you heard that like before a job interview, go in the bathroom and like do like confident poses and then yeah. actually will raise like your confidence for the interview. Lucas wanted this product. I don't know if you wanted to like stop like your foot line or something or like your like foot porn website, but you wanted a foot massager. So like, you it know, I was just, like, let's get it. Cause I just noticed it was so cheap and I was just like, I never rubbed a ball over my foot. Like I feel like it could be something. We're always on our feet. So you should be massaging the fuck out of your feet. You want people to kiss your feet. I'm I, joking. <laughs> but it also says you can do it on your arms, your knees. expecting such like intense pleasure. If you stand and grab your foot and I bet like you'd have a foot orgasm. Foot orgasm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that actually does feel deeper though. My feet need some love. If only there's someone out there who would pay for foot videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this little bow be my bitch. Like I'm gonna use it everywhere. <laughs> you Are you sitting on it? Why didn't it make it sexual? <laughs> I I use my glute, you know? <laughs> what does everything have to be real? So what is the review? Um, well, I have a foam roller, and um, like this is supposed to, this is mutt for feet, but obviously if you want to actually mutt, <laughs> massage your ass, um, <laughs> I'm talking your glutes, um, you should just get a foam roller. Oh, it goes deep. I, that's what I was saying. I need to cover my pants because like a bone was getting formed. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, I it's three ninety nine. How could I hate? Yeah, it really does it. Oh, that's your review. Is it something that's gonna stink after? <laughs> okay. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Does that do anything? I would say the biggest use is both feet. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Just do like your whole, whole head. <laughs> it hurts? Yeah, it actually hurts a little bit. It's gonna be in a pile of junk in time, yeah. but still, buy it. It'd become a dog toy, I bet. Oh! oh. Lucas got a hat. I had to do some adjustments, but I actually really like this hat. I'll for sure wear this in videos. I like it. <gasps> I've seen this or I've used it, but Jacob's never used it. Yeah, it's give your lips some love. Prep and prime lips for a plump, kissable, smooth puckle. To fully test out the products, we have like this little styrofoam mannequin mm -hmm. to see like if I'm a bottle kisser after doing it, you know? And haven't you kind of wanted to kiss that mannequin for a while? Yeah, and like it's just awkward just kissing it randomly, but like now I have a use, you know? Remove lip mask from packaging. Duh. Apply to closed lips and let mask sit for 20 minutes. Bitch, I'm only waiting three minutes. I have always wanted to try something like this. It reminds me of just luxury. <gasps> There's collagen in this. Collagen makes you young, apparently. You're supposed to scrub your lips because it removes the dead skin. Oh my. Okay, yeah, there's actually little honey particles in here, so, uh, that, I'm a dirty ass bitch. Maybe tuna from lunch? Yeah. Fucking. Fucking. These remind me of just, like, blowjob lips. <laughs> okay. Can you talk with it on? Uh, it kind of moves. Wait, moves. you have to be laying down, too? That's kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing makes me uncomfortable, because I know that right now you feel uncomfortable. Homophobic annoying. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay. It's almost been three minutes, but it is. I'm, I'm obviously like Wait. just an annoying ass person because it feels like I was just like in a fucking walking out doing planks and shit. Your lips look dry as hell. Why isn't it wet? Wait, they do? Like they don't look. I thought you'd be so like moist, but like was that even that wet? No, this is wet. Oh. I feel like this did nothing, and also it has this one smell uh -huh. that reminds me so much of Jorgen's lotion. Oh my, that literally just smells like Jorgen's lotion. Yeah, so I, I have a theory that it just is Jorgen's lotion and they put it in this lip thing and I just like, I want to eat it. I, I, I just licked it and um, yeah, it just tastes like lotion. Now I'm going to kiss the mannequin. Wait. I mean, it's not in a live. It's not a live, so. I was like, it felt <laughs> creepy when I did that. Like, I don't like shit like that anymore. Like, I thought it was funny and like, it was funny, but like, I don't like it. It, it creeps me the fuck out. Oh, so you're gonna get a sex doll when they come out? No, for me personally, I'm actually against that. Like, I if I am gonna date someone long term, it has to be an actual person. This kind of just grossed me out, <laughs> so I got it. Um, It's $3.99 for... Alaskan Smokehouse Lobster Spread, and it's actually not overdue until 2026. Non-refrigerated. I'm actually excited to try this. You're gonna try it? Should I get two crackers? Yeah, let's actually like try this shit. Like we're in like plants. This isn't like dog food, is it? <laughs> Why is it what? I thought it was gonna be creamy. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna try it anymore. It actually this smells like, like pussy. <laughs> It's spraying in my face. This reminds me of when our family's cat eats this wet food. I don't know if I can eat this. It actually smells and looks like cat food and that's not me trying to like be an annoying ass dramatic TikTok girl. I'm just gonna try some. I just had nausea go through my body. <laughs> I'm not eating this shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it that bad or no? It's not good. I feel like this brand went on a business oh. and there's only like 10 more of them left. This, this is- The smell is disgusting. We need to leave, leave the room. This is fucking gross. Oh my god, this smell keeps getting worse. I'm not even being a little dramatic bitch. What are you gonna say in reality what? It's the fucking- Ew. I was actually excited. I thought they'd open it and of course it smelled like fish, but I didn't think it'd be this little patty that cats eat. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't expecting what, I was expecting creamy. Fuck you, like- No, fuck whoever made that. No, like you know when you actually just wanna fuck you someone, and I'm not talking about fucking the sexual, I just mean like, fuck you. No, like, fuck you. No. I also got a comb. It's a painless detangler. Lucas has a wig collection. Let's just see if it's actually a painless detangler. Obviously these wigs don't have soles attached to well, them, Well, once you put a wig on, you can feel the pain it has, if it feels Kinda, pain. yeah. Yeah. Can we just appreciate how this whole comb, I don't know if you guys can see, it has llamas or alpacas on it. Um, I just love it because this brand really took advantage of the trend. I'm guessing this was made like six years ago. Like the big trend was like llamas and alpacas. Oh yeah, twames. Like, yeah, this brand took it over. Like, like we're gonna make money off this I shit. Know, like, we're making money off this little song. Okay, we got it. This has been on my head long enough that I can feel like, ow, that hurts. So it's full wet and dry hair, so it should just... Oh, this sounds like it fucking hurt. Oh <laughs> yeah, this sounds, ow. I mean, it's making a Ow! Oh my, okay, even if it's painful though, no, it's put way it on. more straight. Like there's, I'm not even kidding. I was kidding before. There actually is a thing where like, when you hear it ripping through, you actually feel like you feel like phantom pain. Like isn't it painful? I think it's cause well, I'm, I'm pots. <laughs> Oh. This is part of the reason why I would hate having long hair because it just looks, sounds fucking painful. I know, I do wish like I could grow my hair long enough to comb it one day. That sounds fun, combing your hair. Yeah, you're actually making the wig look really good. Like this actually does shit. This is $3.99 and like some combs sh suck, but somehow these whistles are doing it. Okay, let's say it was a one out of five wig. Now it's like a five out of five. I know. It actually looks good. I know, like ready to like become a pop star. And this isn't me being like delusional. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna say on the pain scale, it's like a three out of five pain. Yeah. I feel like if you bad. were combing your own hair, you would almost get enjoyment out of the pain. Cause you'd be like excited about getting the tangles oh, out. You so know? Like, you know sometimes when you have a hangnail? When yeah. I put on the hangnail, I'm not gonna, 
a lie. It is fun. Like, I it's know. Fun. Like you'd be excited because you're excited for the end result. But if somebody else is combing your hair and it hurt, you would uh, hate it. No. TJ Maxx is probably one of the biggest <laughs> stores that sell luxury items that didn't sell. So we got a Juicy Couture item. I didn't know this was Juicy Couture. Yeah, it's, it says show me off. It's $12.99, which is a fucking good price. It started at $48. <laughs> For some reason, I felt like such a perv when you brought this up to the checkout. Oh, my uh, same. Okay. It just felt like a perv, like trying, if I just got the vibe where the girl looked at you and thought, why am I trying to make your girlfriend wear all this shit? Like, I didn't think that. I pictured even something. <laughs> I pictured this guy who has a bunch of sex dolls, and this is what I thought she was picturing. And like, she pictured me putting this on a sex doll and be like, I'm gonna fuck you, or some shit like that. <laughs> Honestly, I was fully embarrassed, and part of me was thinking, wait, since we're only using these products once, like, I'm gonna return this, but I'm not returning anything because, like, I'm not gonna bring this back to the store. That's just fucking weird. But, but you yeah. bought it because you wanted to wear it running or something? Yeah, I'm a runner and um, during the summer months, sometimes I only run in like shorts and I take off my t-shirt, but like, but I want to like start wearing this on my runs because first of all, um, it's like see-through or whatever, like, so there's like a mesh, so you get like breathable. Yeah. I'll just try it on, I'm going to try it on over my clothes because uh, if I didn't try it on my clothes, like, it would literally, like no joke, be OnlyFans content because like, the bottom. So, um, is this what, um, laundry, laundry is? I think so. <laughs> it fits perfectly. That's like it was meant to be. Wow. Let's get the show on. <sighs> if this didn't show my actual dick, I would wear it running. But it does, so I, I'm not just gonna let everyone see my pee hole, you know? That was everything from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna rate it a four out of five. I think most of the products are pretty spanking good. Yeah, and it's a fun time to go there. They have a bunch of random shit. And that's on God. Does my brain wanna say anything else? Scan? No. You can subscribe to both of us. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye, Ziz. Bye!